If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way? With the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. <laughs> Haynes has given us the leftover money from the pol- <laughs> So you- Gus Moda! Hey- Ah! Okay. That all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. <laughs> And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, see you here. You know, um, I'm still looking into that union depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you know who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. About to knock off a federal government building. Oh, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in. So life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need. Put those on. Then what? Then head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So, I'm guessing drapes and scented candle aren't going to do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. You'll have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. Now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well, under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. And if you remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. Don't worry. Oh! No, that is below the... Shift's about to start down at the FIB building. You know, get Gustavo and Norm on board. Be ready for my signal and fire truck. Okay, at least half the crew is serious. But we'll be ready to do this thing, dog. What is this bullshit? First day, go through the turnstile and head up. Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up.
You know you stay too late when the mopping dead show up. All right. or a budget cut. When are you gonna get out of here? When I log my OT for the week. Yeah, I thought about being okay. So hard. The building's closing any second. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. Detonate the incendiaries, Frank. Whoa! <laughs> All right. We're first response. Let's go. So Lester hijacked the emergency signal, right? Yep. We'll be the only idiots running into that burning mess. So don't worry. Hold it up there by the curb. Alright, let's get in there. Explosion! 
this fire truck as soon as possible. I'm working on it. Yeah, because if they connect the dots, man, I don't know. Man, I'm working on it. Any minute, they'll be looking for us. I mean, those guys in the building you took down, if they knew, who else is going to know? It ain't worth thinking about, dog. Trust me. I'm going to get us there as fast as I can. All right, shit, shit. I just don't want to run into something. Man, y'all don't want to run into Trevor, bro. That's who you don't want to run into. Haha, <laughs> you're right. So, uh, take us to our get out, avoiding the cops, Feds, and my dear friend Trevor Phillips. All right, man, I'll try. Try real hard, okay? What were we thinking? Stashing it so far. The fire truck can't go much quicker. Don't crash this car again! 
Now that we're clear, I can probably tell you people. I didn't think we were gonna make it out of there. Uh, one of us didn't. We lost the dude, man. Oh, yeah, shit. I don't like speaking ill of the department, know what I'm saying? But that dude was in over his head. Keep your heads down, you hear?